Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Blue Marble Science. How about this? Airplanes couldn't fly west if the atmosphere is rotating with the Earth. I'm not kidding. That's what Brian's logic said. Warning. Severe facial and monitor damage alert. Get out those oven mitts, push the monitors out of punching range, and let's listen to Brian make a real mess out of this. Hey, hey there. This is hopefully going to be a very quick video. This is just going to be attacking one claim um, that's constantly put out there by um, the globe side of this argument. And it's an official claim, uh, official globe claim. <clears throat> ah, this is an official globe claim. I guess we better pay attention, huh? Um, but <clears throat> th this is the destruction of it. Here you have west to east going this direction, east to west going this direction. You have direction of rotation, which would be this way, be west, west to east for this globe here. We have direction of plane one, which would be this one going east to west. Direction of plane two, which would be this one going west to east. Okay, we have position A and position B. And outside here, we have this circle representing the globe's atmosphere. Okay, Brian, just so we're clear, the official globe claims are number one, the Earth is a sphere, even if you look at it from the position above the South Pole, like you just did. Number two, the Earth slowly rotates from west to east, just like you depicted in your diagram. Number three, the Earth has an atmosphere, and it's held in place by gravity, and it rotates with the Earth. And number four, airplanes fly pretty much in any damn direction they want to fly. I agree with those positions. Now, there's a lot of things and a lot of ways this is attacked. Um, <clears throat> the most obvious way is that if a plane is flying from position A, which is east, to position B is in the, in the west, then the direction, then the flight should be way shorter than if the plane is flying from west to east, right? No. The distance between any two points on Earth doesn't change depending on the direction you travel. The atmosphere is moving with the Earth and the plane's airspeed doesn't change. Ignoring winds, the ground speed of an airplane is the same in any direction. Therefore, travel time is the same regardless of which direction you travel. This is one of the dumbest arguments you guys make, Brian. This is uh, an obvious thing, right? So the plane flying from west to east should never really get there because the rotation of the globe out on the needle is, um, is uh, more is greater in in its movement than the plane can fly here let me bring in a flat earth expert that can simplify that for you brian that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything um and the direction of the plane uh at plane at our plane one should get their, to their destination much sooner than we experience because uh, it, it would be flying against the rotation of uh, the globe, right? <clears throat> now, we're told the reason that none of this happens, right, is due to the airplane, right, and everything else that's not attached to the surface of the globe. We're told, this is the claims we've been getting, that the atmosphere as they call it which is a load of air taking a shape on the outside of something that isn't containing it is moving in lockstep with the surface of the earth so what's happening is we don't see drift because of this we never see any drift because everything is moving together right it's nonsense right total nonsense nonsense how about using some common sense brian the atmosphere is pressing down on the surface with a force of about 2,116 pounds per square foot. Friction with the surface and viscosity of the gas is going to result in the atmosphere rotating with the Earth. Ask yourself this question, Brian. What force would stop the atmosphere from rotating? What mechanism would cause this huge atmosphere being held very tightly against the surface of the earth from rotating if the earth is rotating. 
This is an even dumber position you guys take. But this is the problem. <clears throat> we know for definite that airplanes take off on the, at the east coast of the United States and do fly and get to the west coast of the United States. And they do this within uh, an allotted time, right? but depending on obviously whatever trade winds or anything else they deal with um, and the speed that they travel at. But the main point of this video is for them to do that, right? they have to fly against the rotation of the globe. What does that even mean, Brian? Flying against the rotation of the earth. When you get up to go to the bathroom on the airplane, do you get to the bathroom really quickly and then it takes a long time to get back to your seat? After all, when you get up to go back to the bathroom, you're walking against the speed of the plane. And when you leave the bathroom, you're walking with the speed of the plane. If what you say is true, you should never be able to get back to your seat. Because if they had to move with, if they had to move with, um, with the air, right? If they were moving with the air and the air was moving with a rotating surface underneath, then the plane would never be able to move from its position. It would start at position A, it would take off here and it would be stuck there. It would have to just go with it. It could never get to a different destination. Brian, the claim you just made is absolutely preposterous. The airplane's airspeed is unchanged regardless of what the air it's flying in is doing. If there is no wind and the atmosphere is rotating with the earth, which it does, the airplane's ground speed is unchanged regardless of which direction it flies. As the earth rotates, both point A and point B rotate with the earth. The distance between those two points doesn't change. And the atmosphere above point A and point B simply moves with point A and point B. Now, if we stick Cletus out here to the side and let him observe this, he will see airplane one moving from east to west, appearing to move more slowly than airplane two moving from west to east, simply because the earth is rotating. But if Cletus is paying attention and looking at the speed of the airplane over the ground, he will see that there is absolutely no difference. No difference in speed and no difference in the time required to travel between points A and points B. I have no idea why you have such a hard time understanding this. Whereas in reality, we know it does. So there's only two options. <clears throat> Either it, the planes are taking off at position A at the east coast of America and flying to position B at the west coast of America and are flying against this supposed lockstep air that's moving with the surface of the globe, right? To get to their destination, right? Which will mean that, right? And which will mean that we will see drift, right? Of the airplane, because anyone who is observing here, who is on the surface here of this globe is going to see the plane the fl that's flying east to west above them. They're going to see the drift of that plane. They're going to observe normality, uh, abnormalities. Right, visual abnormalities, the Coriolis effect. There's no way to not observe that. Coriolis, we were talking about the ground speed of an airplane. Did you forget what the topic was, numb nuts? Right, because the planes do get from A to B. They are, that would mean they have to be flying east to west. And that would mean that they, they would have to be flying against the rotation of the globe. Yeah, Brian, we got it. Here's an official globe claim for you. Brian's logic has been declared officially, spatially clueless. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget the like and subscribe buttons. Click the little bell if you want notifications. Shout out to the patrons and PayPals. I appreciate you guys and we'll see you on the next one.